Now I'm going to use the Bible to to explain what I mean here in just a second, but just bear with me. I'll make a comment and then I'm going to explain it. If you become source, everything flows to you, flows back to you, actually flows from you, through you, and to you. And not calling you God, you're not God. So how do you become source? So how would you, how would you become source? Well, the Bible tells you in John 15, somewhere in there, it says, uh, to be one with Christ, the mind of Christ, the same mind, the same motives, the same goals, the same, the same mindset, the same spirit, the same uh, agape. the same walk the new age and the gurus are all trying to be one they're trying to get back to source well you get back to source by faith alone and Jesus alone and so but then what happens is you you go through a process a sanctification process and most churches will never teach you that walking in the spirit is not a rule based walk it's a Walking in the Spirit is not rule based. It's grace and truth. Love and truth. Grace and truth. And so, when you're in truth, you're above the law. When you're in love, you're above the law. Because you don't do anything to hurt anybody else, right? You don't do anything to hurt anybody else. Hurt yourself. Hurt God. Because you're trying to keep your motives right. And some people will say, well, what about the sins of omission and the sins come? Yeah, well, there's things that's going on in your heart you don't even know about, but God has to reveal it. But he knows the heart. Is your heart towards source? But anyway, if you read John 15 or whatever, you're one with Christ. Whatever your desire is, he'll give it to you. Whatever your desire is, because you're one with Christ, it appears, it happens. Because you're in tune. If So if you go back to source, how to get back to source? You get back to God. How do you get back to God? Through His Spirit, through His mind, through His, through His way, through His truth, the way, the truth, the life. You go, to, go His way. What is, what is His way? Through Jesus, who is the way? You have, to, you have to become a copy of Jesus down here. Are you going to be perfect? No. But that's your that's your affection. That's your trust. That's your position. That's your knowing. That's your that's pretty much everything. So once you hit source, what's the Bible say? From Him, through Him, and to Him. If you're in source. And the Bible says, from him, through him, and to him, then what happens? If you're in source, you're tied in with source, you're part of source. From him, through him, to him. Things just start to flow. It just flows. From him, through him, and to him. So if you're intermeshed in with source, happens see this earth was made to birth in the sons of God or the daughters of God and as you start to step into your true identity and you cut off the noise of the system and the lies of the system it's all lies so when you step in your true identity which is in Christ, Christ in you, the hope of glory. You're in, you're hid in Christ in God. Think about that. And it's Christ in you. You're in Christ. You're hid in Christ. Christ in you. Hid in Christ in God. The Holy Spirit in you. So you're tied in. 
That's why they. That's why it's called the body of Christ. So the body of Christ is tied to source. Who's the source? Jesus. He's the head of the body. So you're part of source. And so as you move your arms and your leg, those arms and leg go according to your to the your. So your head turns this way. Your head turns that way. Your arms and leg are are moving based on your the direction of your mind and your thoughts and your the way your head's turning and all that. So your legs and arms are tied to source, which is your mind and your heart, your, 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 your source. You are source. Your arm is tied to source. When you move your arm, your left arm knows what it's doing. When you move your arm, it's because your mind told your arm to do it because it's tied to source. It's instant. It's instantaneous. So if the Bible says from him, through him, and to him, then if you tie into source and get back to source code and you're the body of Christ, he made this earth for you. It's all for your benefit. If he gave you his son, will he not freely give you all things? So it just flows to you, through you, from you, while you're down here in his stead, ambassadors. I'm not saying you're God but saying you're tied into God. It's kind of like if a man and woman get tied together in a marriage. They're still separate, but they're one. They're one in the spirit, but they're walking it out down here. So let's say he goes to work and, and he's doing his thing at work and she's at home cooking or whatever, taking care of the kids or whatever. They're still tied together spiritually if they're saved. It's allegory, right? So he's going to work to pay the bills. She's at home trying to gather some stuff, get the house, get, get the house set up. But they're working together as a team, as oneness. But most people, most marriages don't work that way. They're just doing their own thing. They're not in tune. They're not one. They have. They don't have the same goal. They don't have the same mind. They don't have the same heart. They don't have the same anything. They don't even have the same checking account. They don't have the same anything nowadays. It's 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 ridiculous. When I hear people talk about when I hear them talking about their spouse and how it's like they're just two different worlds or something, I'm thinking, that's not a marriage. I don't even want to talk to you anymore. I don't even want to hear what you have to say because you're just, your whole mind is messed up. I couldn't even stay. If I, how could you live in a house like that? I don't get it. I can't comprehend that. If you're not on the same page, how can you get anything done? You're just living in a house. You're, you're just living in a a box together, but not on the same page, not thinking the same, not talking, not communicating. What kind of life is that, really? When you find somebody you can talk to, because think about it, eventually the sex becomes routine. It gets old. When you get older, you got to have somebody that you can talk to. So if you get married at 18, 20, 25, whatever, eventually the routine's going to kick in. So you're going to have to be spiritual. You're going to have to talk about some deeper things because if you're both growing spiritually, there's unlimited stuff to communicate about, you know? But people don't think like that. There's opportunities, there's businesses, there's growth, there's ideas, there's inventions, there's, I mean, let's say the woman was good at cooking. So let's create a YouTube channel. You can cook. Okay, let's do it. Or if he's good at carpentry, like, let's create a, let's create a business here. Let's do it. Okay, I'll be, I'll support, you know, you can support the other one support each other but most people are doing their separate life together I mean they're in separate lives in the how can that be because they're not thinking from source they're thinking from self selfish it's all about me it's not about the other when you wake up to the fact that the other person is you it's just a, a, a mirror image and so when you love somebody else you love yourself when you help somebody else you help yourself if you could ever wake up to that because they're a person just like you're a person per the son. So especially in a marriage, 
or in a business contract, let's say in a business or even a job, your your coworker, you help your coworker, you help yourself. If if you can't grasp that concept, you're still in the self mind. You're still in the selfish mode. It really seriously. I know it's a hard thing to grasp, and that's why the noise is out there to, to blind you to it. Why would the Bible say, love your neighbor as yourself? Why would the Bible say that? Because you're actually looking at a, 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 another universe, a fractal mirror image of yourself. Somebody that chose a different path, but they're still, just, they're still doing the same old stuff. I'm not saying yoke up with the unsaved, but I'm saying when you look at somebody... Whether they're saved or not, they made the choice to go a certain direction or not. They chose their path, you know. I don't think marriage should be based on money or uh, anything but one thing. Are you able to communicate? Are, are you able to really communicate and be on the same page about this communion you go to the church and take communion, right? Eat the bread and drink the wine, drink of my body, eat of my flesh, drink of my blood. So when you're in communion with a person, you got to be on the same page. That's what it's about. The other stuff is just the other stuff is just fluff. The communion, which is communication, that's where it's at. The other stuff is going to die away. It's going to pass away. But when you're sitting there, the power goes out, the lights go out, or there's a nuclear bomb or something, you're stuck together. If you can't communicate, you're just sitting there thinking, why am I here with this person? They don't even know me. Why would you want to be with around somebody 24-7 that don't even know you? <laughs> it just doesn't add up. I mean, people are doing stuff like a robot they're like ai programs i mean this is this is common sense but people all over the world ain't they're not getting this that's why they're cheating on each other because they don't get this simple concept it's really easy it's really the easy button really i mean really if they would just tie in with somebody they can talk to communicate with you can work anything out but most people get offended defensive and upset and mad and fight and for what communicate back and forth that's what converse is Convert, conversation is converse together turn why get mad well, I don't believe that way. Well, I don't believe this way. Instead of fighting, let's talk about what you do believe. Maybe we agree. Maybe we really are saying the same thing. We're just saying it from a different perspective. You see? But most people don't get that far. They never reach that potential. It's right there. It's so close. The potential is right there, but they don't grab hold of it. It's right there. This sounds like I'm just talking but this is serious stuff. This should cut to the heart. This should bring, this is, should, do you understand what I'm saying? Well, I see it this way. Well, I see it this way. Maybe you agree at a deeper level. Maybe you're saying the same thing, but you're saying it on different terms. Maybe you're just looking at it from a different perspective, but it's, it might be the same, it might be the same path. You just, you just caught up in your little box, you know, it's, it's the wildest thing. It's, it's bizarre.